All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to use image trace on an image. Start by dragging an image into Illustrator right on the, the uh, artboard. This is a PNG, but you can use a JPEG or probably anything, really. Uh, I'm just going to copy one over here so we can see it real time. So you'll notice up here, this is your control bar. Um, you get to that with window control. But um, if you, if you uh, click on the image, you'll see image trace pops up there, right? Um, and there's some presets there that you can uh, use, and I, you know, definitely you should play with that. But let's get uh, to the palette. This is way more powerful than the presets. We're going to take uh, the window menu, and we're going to go to Image Trace, and uh, open Advanced. Uh, the more the merrier, you know. Okay, so we have the image. Um, we're going to go to a preset. You can also do these presets up there, but um, and let's just go to black and white logo. There. So that, that is actually traced. Um, at the moment, it's it's still in a box. I'll show you that in a second. But we lost a little detail. If you look, um, you can see that the uh, the sunbeam guys lost a little life, right? So I see that right off the bat. So I'm going to increase this threshold a little. See, they're coming back to life. Ooh, yeah. There you go. So that's good. Um, you can increase the paths. That's like how many nodes there are. I don't think that needs it, but it, it just makes it more complex of a drawing. So if it's really detailed and you know you're you're noticing a loss of like quality, crank that up a little. Eh, I just did a little and it, it kind of worked. But this is you know it's not an exact science. It's you just have to really coax this thing into getting it to the point you're either really able to edit it or that you're satisfied with it. You know, it depends what you're using uh, using it for. And then noise, see, okay, you don't want noise in this scenario for a logo, probably. It just filled in the, it lost detail in the 9 and the B, so yeah, let's not go there. And yeah, there's a, let's just hop to another setting. So let's go to six colors. I mean, I believe it's only going to find two, but yeah. Okay, so two. And then you, if you had a, a photograph, you could crank this up and you would be a really, you'd see a really complicated you know, drawing with lots and lots of colors. But we're not going to mess with that right now, but you can still mess with the paths if you wanted to. And um you know, the noise. And once you're done, this is a crucial part too. Go down here and hit expand. And now now you see that it did actually like turn it into a vector. It is grouped. So you want to go to object, uh, ungroup. And you are going to notice silly things like the box is still here. So I like to use the direct selection tool and then you know, yeah, get rid of the box. And you'll probably notice that the, the inside of letters, see, those are also there, the white D part, the white in the inner part of the D. So those are, you know, things that it, it traced. So you kind of have to get in there and take it apart a little. But, you know, as you can see, you can uh, you can change the colors of all this. You know? So, yeah, it's, it's a full vector now. We got the boom, boom, and boom. See? So, hey, hopefully that helped. Uh, these things are, you know, hard to do if you don't know where to click. <laughs> so if it did help... Hit like, leave me a comment. Thanks.